Welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm -hmm. And today we are looking at part A of our monthly focus, and it's called "I Can Win." And the vocabulary words are hop, hop. We hopped over some stones to cross the stream. Terrific, terrific. Eric's new song sounds terrific. Bear, bear. Liz forgot her bear on the train. Easily, easily. Andy finished the puzzle easily.、Mm -hmm. All right, time to play a game, Karen. Okay, I love games. We're gonna take turns naming animals、okay. or insects that、oh, can hop. Okay, animals or insects Six. that can hop. That's、okay. right. I'm、okay. making it easier for you because <laughs> you're usually not very good at this game. So rather than just doing animals, we're gonna do insects Animal and too. And insects. Okay, okay. Okay. Ladies first. Okay, rabbits. Kangaroos. Oh, you took mine. Okay, grasshopper. Mm-hmm.、Uh, fleas. Frogs. Mm-hmm.、Uh, bunny. Well, you, you say. I、rabbit. said. I said.、Okay. I said rabbits.、Um, and、uh, crickets. Crickets. Okay. I said grasshopper. And grasshoppers、uh, and crickets are very I different. I know. I know. I know.、Um, what's another one? Some spiders can hop. Okay, I'll give you that. Yes.、Mm -hmm. And、um, come on, does that mean I win? Does that mean I win? I think it does. I think it does. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Name another one. You name another one. <laughs> I will consider myself the loser if you can name another one. If I can name another one. Yes. Animals that can hop or insects that can hop. Um, I know. I know, I have seen. Shh. <laughs> Wait. You're not gonna say people, are you? <laughs> We are animals. We are people. Are animals? All right,、too. that's it. We'll call it a tie. <laughs> that's it. No more. Okay, I'm gonna give them a question. I'm gonna maybe think of one more. The question for today is: What did Allison used to spend hours doing? What did Allison used to spend hours doing? Kent and Allison are walking around at their school's fair. I love the school fair. I used to spend hours hopping in the bounce castle. I knocked my teacher into the dunk tank once. It was so funny. I only used one ball too. You always were a good shot. I'm still terrific at fair games. Do you see that toy bear at the ring toss? Do you mean the giant one? Yeah, I can win it easily. Then I'll go to the ticket booth. We'll need some tickets for the games. Okay, but I won't need that many. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Hanny. Welcome to part A of this month's monthly focus. The title of this month's dialogue is "I Can Win." Okay, everyone, let's get started. This month. Allison and Kent are our characters, and right before our dialogue begins, we learn that Kent and Allison are walking around at their school's fair. Now it is Allison who kicks off our dialogue. I love the school fair, she says. I used to spend. Hours. Stop right there, Jeff. Allison, I'm Allison right now. I... Stop right there, Allison. Why? Because it is now time for the question of the day. Okay, what did Allison used to spend hours doing? I used to spend hours hopping in the bounce castle. I used to spend hours hopping in the bounce castle. That's what Allison said. Anyways. Hop, everyone, is the first vocabulary word of the day. Hop, hop, it's a verb. To hop is to make little jumps or to move around by jumping in this way. My fingers are kind of like a rabbit right now; they're hopping around. Anyways, yes, usually when a person or an animal, like a rabbit, maybe, 
is hopping. When a person or a thing is hopping, this person or thing is getting around by making little jumps. For example, the rabbit hopped away quickly after being scared. 兔子很容易被吓到，它们一被吓到就会迅速的跳走。那么 hop, hop 这个单词呢，在课文里面是当动词，它表示蹦跳、蹦蹦跳跳。好，那这个动词常用来描述兔子啊、青蛙或是袋鼠它们跳跃的方式。例如 ，The frog hopped onto a leaf. The frog hopped onto a leaf. 那只青蛙跳到一片叶子上。好，另外在口语中，我们也可以用 hop in 或者是 hop on 来指上车，像计程车或者是汽车，我们是用 hop in。那如果是可以在上面自己走动的那种工具，像是公车啊、火车、飞机等等等，我们则是用 hop on。例如 ，hop in, I'll give you a ride. Hop in, I'll give you a ride. 上车吧，我载你一程。好，在今天对话一开始 ，Kent 和 Allison 在学校的圆游会里面到处逛逛。Allison 他说他很喜欢圆游会，他以前会在充气城堡里面蹦蹦跳跳玩好几个小时。啊、oh, ，school fairs.、Mm. I have fun memories of school fairs, past Jeff. Yes, I like Allison loved the bounce castle as a kid. And let's not forget how fun the dunk tank was. Yeah, the dunk tank. The dunk tank was great. And get this, Kent feels like we do in regards to the dunk tank, and has some fond memories of the dunk tank too. I knocked my teacher into the dunk tank once. He says it was so funny. And I only used one ball too. One ball? That means Kent must have hit the target on his first try. Yeah, but that's par for the course for Ken. After all, he's a good shot and always has been. I know this because of what Allison says next to Kent. She says, "You always were a good shot." What a nice compliment! I agree, but Kent doesn't think that a compliment is good enough. Next, he says, "I'm still terrific at fair games. That is, he is really good at these things." Oh, and don't forget, terrific is the second vocabulary word of the day. Terrific, terrific. It's an adjective. This word isn't hard to understand. If something is terrific. It is very good, or great, or fantastic, or stupendous. Yeah, terrific things are wonderful, awesome, amazing, super fun, etc. I think you guys get the idea. For example, what a terrific game! I'm so glad we bought front row seats. 这一场比赛真精彩！我很庆幸我没有买到前排座位的门票。Terrific. Terrific 这个单词它是形容词，那在口语中可以用来表达很棒的。例如 ，We had a terrific time at the beach. We had a terrific time at the beach. 我们在海边玩得很开心。好，再看一个例句。Susie shared a terrific story with us. Susie shared a terrific story with us. Susie 跟我们分享一个很棒的故事。那顺便补充一下，刚刚 Jeff 老师提到几个跟 terrific 意思很相近的字，像是。Great, fantastic, stupendous, wonderful, awesome, amazing. 很多吧，这些都可以用来描述很棒的。回到课文里面 ，dunk tank 是用来指打落水机。Ken 说他以前玩打落水机的时候，只丢一颗球就让老师掉进水箱了。那么 Allison 就夸奖说他一向都是神射手。好，文中的 shot 在这边是指神射手。好，这个 Kent 蛮臭屁的。他说他现在仍然是圆游会里面的游戏王。那我们要先休息一下，待会再回到对话中。Okay, everyone. With that, it is now time to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. <音樂>欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是 J。a y 悠悠怎么啦？怎么累成这个样子的样？啊，悠悠，哎，我觉得感恩节之后，我已经好几天没有睡了
，哎呦，我想头喷喷啊！但我们今天来讲关心同事工作上的问题，像这样，对不对 ？OK，、嗯、如果我一开始说，哎，怎么看起来这么累啊，对不对？这种话呢，其实不要乱讲哈、哦。中文、英文其实都是、嗯，因为听的人有时候会不舒服。就是他听到说：“哎，你哎，你今天看起来好累哦。”如果他跟你不熟的话，他可能就会说：“啊，我看起来这么糟吗？”啊、这样、哦、就是对。所以那个什么 ，You look tired, you look exhausted， 你看起来非常累。嗯、这种呢，就是要很熟的人才可以这样讲。嗯、OK， 对，不然不然会会不舒服。那不，那怎么办呢？怎么讲？怎么办？你就说 Everything OK? Is everything OK? 这样。嗯 Is everything OK？ 对，就是虽然你看到他整个脸色就是塞干拉撒，就就 OK。Is e v e r y t h i n g OK？ 这样就是对关心一下这样。刚讲熬夜呢，我也常需要加班。Okay. 加班要怎么说？熬夜，嗯，熬夜就是 stay up late， 嗯 ，stay up late 啊，或者是呢 ，burn the midnight oil，burn the midnight oil 就是烧午夜的油。就是挑灯夜战的意思、啊嗯。那对对对，加班嘛，好，加班就是 work late。work late， 其实就是字面上的意思嘛，就是你要工作到比较晚。Uh, work late。那有时候你会听到人家说 work overtime。work overtime，、嗯、我知道。OT。对。对啊 ，work overtime， 加班，嘎班这样、嗯。所以你可以说 I stayed up late last night. Plus, I have to work late very often. I stay up late last night. Plus, I have to work late very often. 我很不好，我不 OK， 怎么说？你就人家问你说 OK, everything OK， 你就说 Not really. Not really. 嗯，就是回答 Is everything OK 的用法就是 Not really. OK.、嗯、那 Not really， 你可以再讲直白一点，你说 I'm not doing OK。I am not doing OK。或者是更糟 ，I feel awful。I feel awful。为什么这么 awful 呢？跟大家讲一下。我跟你讲，因为我好几个礼拜都做同一个重要的体验，然后被老板打枪。OK <笑>。可怜。好可怜。好，那你可以说 I worked on an important proposal for weeks， 好几个礼拜 ，But my boss still rejected it。I worked on an important proposal for weeks, but my boss still rejected it. 嗯，对，那听到这么听到人家这么说，你就遗憾了，就啊，真拍死哈。Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that.、嗯、或者是 I'm sorry， 这样就好了哈。OK， 不过你知道吗？虽然这么辛苦，嗯、但是让我最振奋就是辛苦完之后还可以选拼啊！嗯哼，那就说 OK。How about going shopping with me? How about going shopping with me?、嗯、跟我去逛街吧。Yeah. Let's have some fun. 那我们就去逛街。哦，等等等，先要看。啊、oh, ，live action. Oh my god! What? Is everything OK? Not really. I'm really tired because I worked overtime yesterday. Plus, I have to work late very often. Oh, that's too bad. And that's not all. I worked on an important proposal for weeks,、oh. but my manager still rejected it. Sorry to hear that. Because of that, I had to stay up late last night.、Oh. I have、oh. an idea.、Mm. How about going shopping with me? Let's have some fun. All right. Yeah. And pay for me.、Yeah. Explanation two. Welcome back. Before the break, we had learned that Kent used to be an ace at fair games. Apparently, he thinks he still is too. Yep. And based on what he says next, I get the distinct impression that he's in the mood to prove himself. Do you see that toy bear at the ring toss? He asks Allison. He wants to show Allison that he is still a master of fair games, so he's going to play ring toss and win a and win, I should say, a really big bear by winning at ring toss. Anyway, it is now time to discuss the third vocabulary word of the day: the word bear. Bear, bear. It's a noun. A bear is a large mammal that walks on four legs. Though bears can walk on two legs for short periods of time. Yeah, bears are scary, and they're also big and fat, and have thick fur and short, cute little tails. Now, bears are 
somewhat like giant dogs, though bears are, lar are larger than dogs and can eat both meat and plants. Now, a toy bear. A toy bear is a teddy bear. We're talking about a cute doll here that looks like a bear, but which is usually much smaller and cuter than an actual bear. Yeah, teddy bears aren't scary. They're usually small and cute and cuddly, though they do look like bears. They resemble bears. For example, the child can't fall asleep if she doesn't have her teddy bear. 那个小女孩身边一定要有泰迪熊陪着她才睡得着。Bear, bear,就是熊,它是当名字来用。例如, koalas are often called koala bears, but they are not bears. Koalas are often called koala bears, but they are not bears. 虽然无尾熊这个名字有熊这个字,可是它们并不是熊,它们是有带类动物。好,再看个例句。she bought a toy polar bear for her daughter. She bought a toy polar bear for her daughter. 她买了一个北极熊玩偶给她的女儿。回到对话里面, Kent问Allison说,有没有看到套圈圈摊位那边有一只玩具熊啊? 我觉得Kent他现在一定有十足的信心可以把那只玩具熊赢回家。毕竟他都自称为原优会的游戏王了。Okay, everyone, this toy bear is not a real bear, okay? That being said, though, this toy bear is really big, almost as big as a full-grown real bear. <laughs> yeah, this teddy bear is gigantic. We know this because of the question that Allison asks next. She says, do you mean the giant one? That is, she's asking Kent if he's referring to the massive toy bear that is probably not easy at all to win. Yeah, that's the one that Kent means. But don't tell Kent that it can't be won. He thinks that he will win it, no sweat. I can win it easily, he says. Uh-huh. And that's what he said, and that's like only his opinion, man. Anyways, <laughs> the word easily is the third vocabulary word of the day. Easily, easily, it's an adverb. The adverb easily means in an easy way. If you can do something easily, that thing poses you no difficulty. That thing is easy for you to do. You can do it without putting too much effort into doing it. Yes, if you can do something easily, everyone, this thing is neither challenging for you nor, nor hard for you to do. For example, that can be done easily. If given a chance, a child could probably do it. Easy. Easy. Easily. Easily. We found the place easily. We found the place easily. With this bread machine, you can easily make all kinds of bread. With this bread machine, you can easily make all kinds of bread. 有了这一台面包机,你就可以轻易地做出各式各样的面包。那回到对话里面, Allison看了一下那个套圈圈的摊位,然后再跟Kent确认一下,他说的到底是不是那只超大只的熊。Kent说,没错,他可以不费吹灰之力就赢到那只熊。Jeff, I get the feeling that Kent is in for a rude awakening. I'm with you there, Hanny. But Kent is convinced of his fair game expertise. And as you know, pride comes before the... Anyway, let's read on. To play fair games, you need tickets. And Allison knows this. Then... I'll go to the ticket booth, Kent, because we'll need some tickets for the games. Wow, what a reasonable thing to say, Allison. Yeah, Allison is a reasonable person. Kent, though, well, I won't go so far as to say that he is unreasonable, but he is cocky. Get a load of what he says next. Okay, he says to Allison on the subject of getting tickets before adding, but I won't need that many tickets to win that huge bear. Wow. 
Boy, is he ever cocky and prideful and arrogant. Anyway, part A of our monthly focus is now complete. Right, but don't worry, you guys. We will return next time with part B. See you all then. Bye bye for now. Kent and Allison are walking around at their school's fair. I love the school fair. I used to spend hours hopping in the bounce castle. I knocked my teacher into the dunk tank once. It was so funny. I only used one ball, too. You always were a good shot. I'm still terrific at fair games. Do you see that toy bear at the ring toss? Do you mean the giant one? Yeah. I can win it easily. Then I'll go to the ticket booth. We'll need some tickets for the games. Okay, but I won't need that many. <音樂>各位观众，欢迎收看《全民说英语》，我是 Daphne。今天我们总共要介绍两则文法。第一则是表示把 A 碰撞到 B 里的动词片语 ，knock A into B。第二则要分析句子 ，You always were a good shot。让我们从动词片语开始吧。Knock A into B 意思是把 A 碰撞到 B 里。Knock 在这里是及物动词，可以是上下文翻译成打、击、碰、撞、敲等等。Into 则是表示动作方向的介系词，到点点点里面的意思，合在一起。Knock A into B 就是把 A 碰撞到 B 里。例如 ，Alexander knocked the nail into the wall. 亚历山大把钉子敲进墙壁里。接着来看下一则文法。句型 You always were a good shot， 意思是你一向是神射手。频率副词 always 意思是总是，使用时通常摆在 be 动词的后面。例如 ，Peter was always late for school. 彼得以前上学总是迟到。注意句中使用过去式的 be 动词，言下之意，彼得以前上学总是迟到，但现在不会喽。然而，如果将 always 摆在 be 动词的前方，句型变成 somebody always was 加形容词，意思则是某人一向点点点。换句话说，某人从以前到现在都是这样。例如 ，Peter always was late for school。彼得一向上学迟到。意思是彼得从以前到现在上学都迟到。以上就是今天的两则文法，全民说英语，我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hello, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Henry. Hey， 喜欢开车吗？我超喜欢开车的，在美国长大，十六岁就开始开车喽。所以，我们出去玩的时候，常常可以租车。That's right， rent a car。其实也很方便，也很安全，而且现在台湾也很容易租到车哦。所以，我们来学一些句子，用美语来租车。Ready？ The sentence for today is I'd like a mid-size car。我想租一部一辆中型车 ，not a big one， not a small one。But a mid-sized one, not a huge one, not a tiny one, but a mid-sized one, right? Something that seats four to five people, and they are just perfect for a small family. That's what I want—a mid-sized car, perfect for me and the people that I'm sharing the car with. I don't want a big one, waste too much gas. I don't want a little one, too small. I'd like a mid-sized car. One more time, the sentence for today is. I'd like a mid-sized car. Great. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天同样是用一分钟的时间来复习在 Monthly Focus 学到了四个单词。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时，开始。好，第一个单词叫跳，是蹦蹦跳跳、兔子跳啊、青蛙跳的那种跳，怎么说？叫做 hop， hop， 它也可以用来指单脚跳。The rabbit was hopping around the yard。那只兔子在院子里面跳来跳去。再看第二单词，叫做很棒的，很棒，有超多字，什么 great、wonderful， 什么一大堆的。但是我们来学这个更厉害的，这叫 terrific。
terrific. 他是形容很棒的。You did a terrific job. 你做的很棒，干得好。再看第三个单词是熊。熊怎么说？叫做 bear。我们说由 bear 来，熊来了，由 bear 来 bear。The man was attacked by a bear. 那名男子被一只熊攻击。好，再看第四个单词是轻易地。你知不知道简单的叫做 easy？ 我们去 y 加 i l y 把它变成副词，叫做 easily。Easily 就是轻易的，轻轻松松的。Eric solved the math problem easily. Eric 轻轻松松就把那题数学题解开了。好，太好了，我们已经顺利复习完四个单词，同学们表现非常棒哦。回去要多多复习，多多造句练习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。